Check it out. Man, that's one of my favorite trucks. When I found this uh, 1949 Chevrolet pickup, me and Aaron ran down to an old farm and scooped it up and brought it back to the shop. We oh, like that damn. Truck, the problem was, the Lone Star Throwdown's going down in Houston in six weeks, and I'm like, you can't build this truck that fast. And he goes, well, yeah, we can. We just need the money. You know, obviously, we didn't have a lot of time, but we knew what we were capable of, and we wanted to push that a little bit. And so we set our sights high, and we got to work. Are you OK? Our first step shaved weeks off of our build. What? You're chassis great. work's done. TCI has just released their brand new bumper to bumper chassis on air. We think we may even have the first one. Rock and roll. It showed up complete and ready to be built. Only had to make a few minor modifications and tweaks to make it all work. Motivating our 49 Chevy was easy. We used a Chevrolet Performance ZZ5 from Scog and Dickey backed up with an Overdrive 700R4 from Monster Transmission. This is the street rod package, and the reason it's that package is because it works that well. The original bed frame was too far gone to salvage, so we went with a replacement kit from LMC Truck, who proved to be an indispensable and quick source for many of the reproduction parts we needed. Because the truck was going to be so low, we had to lift the bed floor. We took a little extra time to actually make the factory braces that support the bed floor actually integrate them as the risers so they bolt on as one unit. On top of that, we had to make a new bed floor and stain the natural wood dark enough to match the truck but still maintain the grain. I think it was time well spent 100%. When it came to the color, Coy had to do a show quality paint job in a very short amount of time, and he pulled it off big time. I mean, black shows every imperfection there is, but you're not going to find any on this truck. We were putting a lot of money into making this a custom show quality truck. So when it came to the interior of the truck, we needed something clean, simple, and executed well. We turned to Sculpt in South Texas. This is what they're known for. We came up with what we think is a great program incorporating both leather and vintage materials on the door panels as well as the seat. This is simply one of the best interiors that we put in, albeit very small. For rolling stock, I didn't want to go big this time. It's been a while since I had used a wheel and tire package that was small and had white walls and caps on, and I thought, what better project than this one right here? But it does come with one drawback. How do we shut down, you know, a little pickup truck with a hot motor without having the big wheel support the big brakes? Well, it was easy. Willwood made a really nice four-wheel disc brake setup. It's absolutely incredible how fast this little truck shuts down. Definitely no lack of braking power here. On top of all of that, everything's hard-lined, everything's hidden, the motor is painted, everything is detailed and done. This was one heck of a build that I absolutely enjoyed and definitely tested how much finish work we could put into one vehicle in such a small time frame. The end result, simple perfection, show quality truck. I can't be more proud of the guys and what they turned out. So I'm excited to get this truck down to the Lone Star Throwdown in Houston and uh, show it off. So I'm out of here. You driving? Yeah. They got cold beer down there? They definitely got cold beer. Woo! Anyway, it's been a long week. It's definitely been a long night. About to be a long drive. Did you? <laughs> oh, what a gentleman. Oh, every time. What a the guys, uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, definitely a lot of late nights. Yeah. Uh, absolutely killed it. One hell of a job, guys. Thanks, sir. I'm glad everybody made it down. Too. Yeah, I had a good time riding down, too. So we just barely finished our 1949 Chevy 3100 last night, somewhere around midnight, one. The pressure was definitely on the last two weeks of this build, and everybody absolutely pulled their weight and then some. But we're here. It's time to relax, check out some of the cars, maybe have some beers and a turkey leg. All right, let's go. Look at that truck. OK, we're trying. Yeah, look at that. This truck looks pretty good. Hey, yeah, that's a good one. Who built this? Man, it's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. I know one thing. We didn't bring wheels big enough. No, we didn't. So we're truck guys. We are truck guys. Look at that truck. Mm-hmm. I like this color. Oh, wow. Yeah. On race lines. I need to get me one of these real bad. Yeah, you do. Like, real bad. I know. I've got two or three or maybe more trucks at home. How many you got now? I got two. One runs, though. What's going on, man? How are you doing, man? Good, man. Good. This is kind of a big family reunion. It's about hanging out with guys that think the same way that you do, that live their life the same way. Hey, it looks like a good place to take a nap, dude. 
Remember that? That looks familiar. Yeah, I've seen one like this. Different color. Looks like someone else has been cooking up a nice little 49 Chevy. Yeah, there's all laid out too. Looks good. Oh man, this makes me tired looking at it. Springs back memories. So here we go. This is what I was talking to oh, you on the wow. Man, whoo. That black is nice. This thing is stellar. Wow. And I mean, when I say stellar, we went, we started with a, kind of an average farm truck find uh, and uh, toured all the way down. Wow, yeah. uh, Just got the debut award down at the Throwdown. So thanks to Aaron and all the guys, the truck really stood tall down at Lone Star Throwdown. Now it's time to cash in on all that positive energy. I mean, took a lot of money to get this truck to look like it does now, and it's time to pay the piper, and that's me. This one is 100% every nut and bolt brand new. Frame off? No, new frame. Took it all the way down to the bare metal. I mean, you, it's straight. I know I've got one thing going for me right off the bat, and that is his client is shopping for a certain color, and we delivered that in spades. Wow, the black just shined. It's unbelievable. The paint is phenomenal. Mike Coy did a phenomenal job on it. Let's take it for a ride. You know, I got a 100% sales rate right now when I bring the kids along in the car. Sounds good. The suspension is unbelievable. It rides great at two inches off the ground. It also rides great at seven inches off the ground. Oh, nice. Looks like I'm gonna get some of daddy's money. Uh -huh. What do you think about that, little Chris? I love it. It's rad. I only dished out $2,000 to buy the original truck, but we sink another 65 grand into it along the way. It's in a whole different league now. My guy stepped it up for this one. I think it speaks to what we can do here at Gas Monkey for sure. I'd like to make about double what we put into it. So if he's willing to get to my number, I'll sell it. You got to give me the first offer. I'm not going to try to cut my own throat. I could offer you 110,000. <laughs> That's not even Just close. Just as easy as the last one. Not even close. You're going to have to step way up. I mean, I'm thinking this truck's worth around 175 grand. It's not that cool of a truck. Who asked you anyways? That's my negotiator there. <laughs> so the kid's talking to a little lip, and I'm like, you don't even have a driver's license, dude. Get out of here. Let's do 135,000. Ah, there's That's no That's close way. to where you're at. I'm not even moved off 175 yet. I mean, this is probably the number one best, most perfect 1949 Chevrolet truck in the world. I don't need to dump this truck off, and I don't need to pass it off for cheap. All right, 145. <sighs> no. Come on. I'll go 150, and that's it. That's a lot of money, but this truck is perfect. It's exactly what we need. All right, 150. Deal. Thank you, what sir. What do you think about that, dude? I think it's a good deal. All right, works for me. Let's go do some paperwork. <laughs>